it brown too. Oh, hi. <laughs> is, is it recording? Yeah. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Hello. So this is round two of Plant yeah, Tour. I'm sorry. Okay. I Welcome to up the Caffeine Corner at night. <laughs> it's also you made the mood lighting and I love it. It's 10 o'clock. I made it more cozy in here. Also, we needed light because our living room is kind of dark. Yeah. So. Well, the, yeah. The. It is. Well, you could put a sorry. log on the TV. <laughs> All right. I'm work. Kayla. Oh, do you want me to? Yeah. Okay. We're just going to recreate this. <laughs> I'm Sage. On. Can you see me? I don't yeah, know. you can. Anyway, that was okay, a good great. shot. <laughs> All right. So let's do a plant tour. So starting over here, we have Leia. So she is a majesty palm. At least I can see better. There was a glare last time, so. That's mm. true. This is going to probably have better. <sighs> better noodles. lighting, better lighting. So when I first got her, I got her for $20 at Lowe's. This size. A steal. Which is a steal. Because mm -hmm. she's a very big palm that's currently stuck to the fly trap. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she got scorched. When I bought her, well, no, it was my fault. My fault. I called it sunburned. She so. got sunburned. <laughs> she got scorched. She's still healing. There's still some brown on there. I think she even looks better from the last time we filmed. So you no, know, no, for she's sure, got, she's getting better. She's got some green. She's I think in like good. about a month or two, I can finally chop off the rest of her browning, so that like it's enough that. And again, Titan is joining. Okay. <laughs> this is really just a recreation of our first one. <laughs> really? It's... Titan, hi, how are you? You know what? I'm kind okay. of excited we're refilming this though, because I looked busted <laughs> in the first filming. <coughs> so at least this Excuse time me. I have a better outfit on and I have makeup on. So I don't look I think you looked great. Jacked. You look great. I don't know. And the one that I, I mean, have, I look rough. <laughs> I think you look so great. this, I can show off my new thing. So okay. we have these everywhere. Yeah. So these are, this shows the temperature and the humidity. Because a lot of the plants that I have, um, for some reason, I like tropical plants <laughs> in Wisconsin. Not a good mix, but oh, I works. like them. Um, it works. I mean, they're working out fine. I have multiple humidity humidifiers everywhere to keep them all at their certain point. Like, this is too dry for plants, but... Mm -hmm. I'm trying here. And I mean, they're doing fine. Um, mm -hmm. We talked about how healthy they were last time. Anyway, yeah, okay, they're getting better. So this is Mary Jane. So this is my money tree. So I got her with, for $15 at Meijer. And You're gonna give the prices of all of them. I will, yeah. <laughs> sure, fuck it. I know okay. all the prices, okay, fuck great. it. Y'all are gonna get my whole shopping basket. I don't really care. Okay, so she, is the one that gives me the most new growth, I want to say, out of mm -hmm. all my plants. Because okay. we got Enjoy baby it. there, baby there, mm -hmm. baby there, nope. another baby. There we go. Baby, baby. Yep. I'm a grandmother when it comes to this plant. <laughs> I love her. Else, I don't water her often. I. She's good now. Um, I keep her by the humidifier. These white spots are because Meyer put her under fluorescent lighting for too long. So they did her dirty, that wasn't me, <laughs> I swear. Um, yeah, so that's my money tree, I'm very excited. Uh, I got her for really cheap too, because these are normally $30. I think just because of the fun braided trunk. Uh, when she grows taller, that's actually gonna be like fully braided. Mm -hmm. She's just gonna keep growing in a braided form, so that's fun. Nice. So this asshole over here, <laughs> I moved him in the living room. So our original plant tour, I had Mr. Red Foreman in my bedroom. And I was like, you know what? Maybe he needs humidity. Because if you look a little closer, he's kind of dying. He's yeah. a little crisp. But like his other leaves are fine. It's just this part. And he's a Calathea beauty star. And Calatheas are terrible. For some reason, they are marketed as like beginner plants, but they are the fussiest plant ever. Most plant people really don't need... Calatheas are a love or hate sort of situation, and uh, I'm kind of leaning towards hate. <laughs> I love this plant. I love how pretty the markings are. I really wish it would just love me back, 
but it hates me. So, you know, Red Foreman, I'm trying here, but so I put him next to the humidifier because I guess calatheas are tropical foliage as well. So they like humidity. So I moved them in here because I figured out online that tropical plants, if you group them together, they like keep a humid climate. In theory, I don't know at this point. I've given up on him. I'm sorry, but like all my other So plants, you're trying to give him family so that he I'm uh, grows. I'm trying to make him feel loved <laughs> because he, he's making, he makes me look like I'm just like ignoring him. I'm trying to, I'm gonna lose my shit over this plant, what it is. I even, I was at work and I was bitching about this plant, guys. Like, <laughs> I just, I want, I like tell him he's cool all the time. And what does he do? <laughs> he produces, he's got new growth, is fucking dead. What? <laughs> so that's not like, it's not like one of those plants where it's ugly until it's not. <laughs> yeah, no, he's like just straight he's up. full up. Yeah, like, no, he's straight up giving me the middle temper finger. Temper tantrum. Yeah, got he's it. just like, here's new growth, but it's dead, bitch. And I'm like, what? <laughs> that's my fucking Calathea. I, the rest of, I'm glad we got him out of the way, because the rest of this is going to be smooth sailing. It's just, Red Foreman. <laughs> so this is Melanie. Scrifano. Mel <laughs> She's Scrifano when she dies. Oh, 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 no. She's Melanie Carmichael, because for anyone who knows Sweet Home Alabama, classic. That's what I named her after. Why known as a classic? <laughs> Classy lady. You know, you can get your own croton and name it <laughs> Melanie Scrifano. I will. <laughs> Fucking bet. So this is a croton. Um, so a lot of people hate this plant because this one, like the Calathea, apparently does temper tantrums. But this one is next level temp temper tra tantrums. When it loses its shit, it just drops all its leaves. Mm. Like mm -hmm. just one day, it's just gonna... Okay. Maybe that is Melanie. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. And, uh... So it's a little... Oh, wait. I'm thinking of Winona. Why did I mix those two up? Anyway, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Big fan over there. Shut up. So, Melanie... Uh, so, this is a croton, and a lot of people hate crotons because apparently they're just really difficult to take care of. They hate change. They, like, the minute you try and acclimate them somewhere, they're like, fuck you, and drops every single leaf. They're still alive. <laughs> they just go look naked and sad. <laughs> while but you know it's i've had this guy for like close to two weeks two and a half and i mean i have him just chilling in my little humidity corner and i mean he's doing fine i don't really see an issue she's just chilling she hasn't she's dropped one leaf on me don't know what that was about but the rest of them are here um so they're yeah. there they're thriving yeah they're fine like i don't know why people hate crotons but i've just kind of left it be like i don't really fuss with it because i figured out because i'm on a plant group mm -hmm. and i figured out a lot of people in the plant group who tried with crotons uh tend to like baby them mm -hmm. to a point where they're just like oh my god what do i do with my croton i just don't fuck with it <laughs> He just sits here, but I do see he's got some roots, so he probably needs to be replanted. So, um, I'll do a Twitter update when all my leaves fall off when I replant them, because I have a feeling that's when shit's gonna go down. Mm. So, Possibility. that's Melanie. This is Reggie. This is a coffee plant. So, coffee plant. Coffee plant. So, he's got these really dark, kind of waxy leaves, which are really cool and they're fun to feel. Um, he also is a tropical plant. So this guy and this one over here, the Croton, um, are labeled difficult to take care of in my plant app, but I live my life out of spite, so I'm like, fuck it. I'm gonna <laughs> buy every difficult plant there is and just prove that they ain't difficult. Also, uh, you mentioned last time, when we <laughs> now that we have to refilm, I'm gonna mention, she, uh, Kayla did say, hey, it might actually grow some pot coffee beans. Yeah. So, so apparently if you have these guys in the right conditions, they will produce flowers and then produce coffee beans. I don't know if I have them in the right conditions for that. Um, 
Oh, but okay. he will eventually go outside, so I have a feeling that might give him a little more. Because these guys really like sun. Mm. So I think once he goes outside, he'll get bigger and he'll... Maybe. Possibly produce. Maybe. Yeah. So, but, I mean, so far he's doing good. He's chill. I don't really do much with him. He, he's, like, really low maintenance for a high-maintenance plants plant. Sorry, my finger just got... <laughs> I haven't done much with him. So that's Reggie. So Reggie sits over here. So we have Gilligan over here. Gilligan is my gorgeous little... And Miss Gilligan? <laughs> and Miss Gilligan? <laughs> my favorite <laughs> Adam Stanley quote. Uh, oh, man, Adam's family is pretty great. Anyway. Oh, that's such a fucking good line. Anyway, so this is Gilligan. So Gilligan is a ponytail palm. So he is technically a succulent. So he holds all of his water in this little trunk right here. And I don't have to touch him. He goes outside eventually because he also likes sun. But, I mean, he's getting new growth right there. So, yeah, must be doing something right with Gilligan. Which is good because I really like Gilligan was one of the plants that I first got that or like when I first got into plants randomly I was after Sage was like let's get outside plants and then something in my mind went let's get inside plants <laughs> let's get plants everywhere great idea great idea um our air is crisp 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 um so this is a ponytail palm I wanted one ever since we started this whole little plant jungle and now I have one and he's really chill he is a really good cat toy because he's not toxic to cats so hook at him he's fucking staring he is he's like Ooh. I will say the way that she touches the um ponytail palm there uh is how she would touch somebody's hair by the way so if you ever want to know cough cough Henry <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm shocked I haven't named any of my plants after any Henry Cavill characters. Mm. We'll just have to buy a new plant named it Geralt. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is Harry. So this is a rubber tree. So he's also very chill, low maintenance. He's very, he's got these dark waxy leaves. Um, Get close up on them leaves. He no, almost no. feels artificial. Sometimes I think he's artificial because, like, I don't water him and he's still just chilling. Um, the rubber trees are also, like, a really good beginner plant if you need a beginner plant. So, yeah, that's Harry. There's not much to say about him. He's just... Eventually he'll be a tree. Sooner or later. Mm -hmm. So then we have Sally. So Sally is the burgundy rubber tree to Harry's normal rubber tree. And she has sort of waxy leaves, but they're a lot softer than Harry's. Um, and she's also got the red markings, which is really cool. But other than that, rubber trees. Eventually be a tree, really cool, but fairly simple to take care of. Now we have Big Al, <laughs> one of the best characters off the of Country Bears. <laughs> he, this is a fiddle leaf fig. This is a very big influencer plant. So I'm a cool bitch from Instagram because I got one of these babies. You know um, what I saw in a YouTube video, by the way, today? What'd you see? A snake plant. Oh, shit. Yeah, <laughs> snake plants are pretty big. In the, yeah. In simple, simple. Anyone mm -hmm. who, like, wants to be labeled under, like, plant inspo always has just a snake plant in the corner. We of have living three room. right now, right? It's three. <laughs> I want more. <laughs> I want a big one. Mm -hmm. Um... So this is a fiddle leaf fig. Eventually he will be a tree as well. Um, this one, a lot. I love the leaves, not gonna lie, sorry. The leaves are cool, yeah. So Sage wanted to name him Lettuce, because he <laughs> looks like lettuce. He looks like spinach or lettuce, yeah. But um, I had to call him Big Al, because he's got big leaves and country bears. So mm -hmm. it's not gonna be a Catherine corner without me talking about fucking country bears. Let's be <laughs> real. I have the day off tomorrow, and you know what? I'm probably gonna fucking watch country bears. <laughs> So that's Big Al. Um, next, we have Rex. So this is, he needs water. All right, do you want to do that right now? Holy shit, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you're getting a lot of footage of watering. This is a little fucking rough right now. 
don't know what happened. Some bunch of, oh no! Yeah. Oh no, no guys, oh no. It's an emergency. Oh, good Lord. I'm saving you, Rex, I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. He's so temperamental. He really is. So this is Sage's plant. Yeah. So this is her favorite. That my is... favorite, but not necessarily my plant. I forget about him. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, he's he's shrivelly. Yeah, he I was, don't like that. He was thriving at one point. Oh, oh no, his moss is even we might... not mossy. Uh, this might be a live funeral of Rex. <laughs> don't say that. So this is Rex. This is our Venus flytrap. Um. Oh, he is sucking up the water. Oh yeah, he. Look at how fast it goes, by the way, guys. When it's like, that's always fascinating to me. He he drinks the most water. Rex goes through water like crazy, and it sucks because Rex is the one who has very specific water taking water needs. Yeah, he can only use distilled. You have to butt chug them. You cannot pour on top. Butt chug. Ooh, Rex. I don't oh, know. Rexy. Rex, oh no, I'm Rex. sorry, bud. We're going to keep Rex over here. Yeah. And just watch him. I swear I take care of my plants. That was not a good... Poor Rex. <laughs> I might get that. We're out. saving him. <laughs> All right, so this is one of the snake plants that we have. This one is Draco. Because his hiss, motherfucker. <laughs> Slytherin. Slytherins. We know how we do. <laughs> uh, so he's a snake plant. He... I actually got him at Lowe's, and I'll just go get the other snake plants because we'll just do this in one go. So all three of my snake plants, that one's Snape. The other one's sitting over there at the lamp table. And this one's Tom Riddle. So I got the trio of Slytherin going on here. Mm -hmm. uh, all these two babies right here were in this container, so I kind of... And... Uh, split them at the root and I replanted them so now we have three snake plants for the price of one snake plant so that's oh, kind of fun I just ran and I mean the they're table. growing fairly big this guy's yeah. really taken off I'm actually really shocked by that because when we first when I first buried him he was only like that mm -hmm. so yeah. I think they've both really they've both blossomed. been doing really well snake plants are one of the most indestructible plants for anyone who wants to like just get into plants get a fucking snake plant or we'll talk about another one later it's in my room but like i do nothing i water this guy once a month and he just kind of chills a little bit I of mean, a the other one lives under him. a goddamn lamp okay all right so this is chicken joe chicken joe the chicken joe in this house chicken joe um he's a lucky bamboo um Science experiment, honestly, because every time I looked up, chick, like, chicken joke. <laughs> every time I looked up lucky bamboo care, it said either put them in gravel and water and sun or soil and, like, low light. So I have them in the aquarium gravel and water, and he gets, like, decent light over here. Because luckily, our whole apartment is self-facing windows, so we get really good lighting all day. So that's, I think, why also our Very plants... Very warm lighting. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the other reason why our plants are not super mad at us on a day-to-day. -day. Um, he seems to be doing fine. I bought him before I went to work, and then he chilled in my car for an entire shift. So, and then we rescue missioned him because Walmart put him in styrofoam. So when I took him out, I Thanks had me. to take the styrofoam out mm -hmm. and... Sage thought he was fake, but there was roots, <laughs> so I'm like, no, he's real. And I mean, he's blooming, so like, clearly. Awesome, awesome. Do you want me to? Sure. So I mean, he's blooming a little, mm -hmm. and like in here, so he's clearly doing something. He also got sunburned. Ah. I tend to not realize that plants can't just handle <laughs> sun <laughs> like I think they do. So this one is one of my favorites. This is Spike. He's kind of my favorite, too, because so I named him. <laughs> so yeah, so Sage named him Spike, and she's like, and Sage was like, land before time, and I was like, fuck yeah. So this guy looks like he's from the Jurassic period, so I was just like, absolutely add to cart, this is my new favorite plant. And uh, so he's a sago palm, 
he holds kind of like the ponytail palm. He holds a lot of water in his little like trunk thing here and he blooms out the center. So he's just gonna kind of get layers and layers of... Oh, I see there. Yeah. It's in the very center there. Huh, so, that's cool. Yeah, he blooms in the center. So he's gonna just get like more rows of big ones. Yay. And I'm very excited. I like really like Spike. I really hope Spike enjoys his life with me because <laughs> he looks like a goddamn dinosaur plant and I'm here for it. He's my favorite. Literally, if nobody's ever heard of our po or heard our podcast, none of these references make sense. Like we're literally referencing everything we've done. Listen podcast. to the podcast. We Listen. upload. We upload on Wednesdays occasionally. <laughs> I missed it one time last week. It was Thursday in the morning. Okay, I try. All right. So this is our succulent. I have no name. Oh wait, what would you say? Succulent A. That what yeah. you named it? Yeah. Succulent A. He chills here. I had a fake succulent in here, and I was like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's put a real one. I like his um, leaves that they're... Uh, yeah. So this roundy. is... This is Lenny. This is a parlor palm. We have... Men this is probably the... This is not probably the most... Sorry, I was wondering what the fuck was in the soil. It's just soil. Um, so, yeah, this is a parlor palm. This is, like, the easiest palm tree you can ever find. Um, I got him from Florida in a box. My mom went to Florida, and she's like, here's a palm tree in a box. Grow it. And I was like, sick. So, he's a parlor palm. He likes low light. He likes to be watered occasionally. And he just kind of chills. He likes it down there. Um, he's going to get tall and wide eventually. So, yeah, he's... We have three of these. There's two more in the other room. But yeah, so that's Lenny. Over here is my pride and joy. This yep. is this is Hey Hey. This was my this is my baby. This guy is a I just need to get him. Okay. This is my baby. This is a white birds of paradise, which as you can see, he must like it here because he just unraveled this new leaf and it's fucking gorgeous. Mm. Look at him. You're yes, doing you. amazing. <laughs> I love you. So he, I got him at Big Lots. So, or Big Lots. I got him at Home Depot for 22 fucking dollars for this size online. You get like this size leaf for a white birds of paradise for like 30. So it was like, I went to the plant section cause clearly I have a problem and I just go to plant sections now and go, uh, you're coming home with me <laughs> whenever I see a sad plant. But I saw him on the little okay. stand and I was like, and I saw the label and it said white bird of paradise. And I was like, hold the fuck up. Didn't even think, grabbed him in my arms because he's gonna be a tree eventually. And these leaves are going to be, I mean, anything's but bigger than my hand, but like <laughs> twice the size of my hand. And he's going to be huge and luscious and he needs direct sunlight and humidity. Now, this corner, not very humid. This whole apartment, really dry. So humidity factor, once we get him outside, I think he'll do better. But I mean, he gets like direct fucking sunlight. I love this plant. I baby this plant. This plant is my child. I love him to death, and he's his name is Hey Hey because everyone loves Hey Hey from Moana. Okay. Over here, this one is Simba. This is a Dracaena. Uh, he also, I don't do shit with this plant, and he's <laughs> thriving. <laughs> I watered him. I've had him. He was one of the first plants I got, and I've had him for let's see about a month or two mm -hmm. and I think I've watered him maybe three times like he he's got some new growth there he's got new growth yeah. he's got some so Dracaena's are he's got some burnt crisp tips and that's because Dracaena's don't like tap water they're a little prissy when it comes to tap water and I forgot about that so I did indeed water him with tap a couple times because I was like here's some water bro 
Mm -hmm. It's water. <laughs> yeah, no. So, my bad. That was on me. But now I We've feed... We've changed the water now, just so you know. <laughs> now I water him with um, melted snow water, rain water, or fish tank water. So he gets all the different types of good water. But yeah, I don't really do much with him. He chills here. He doesn't necessarily need the light he's getting, but I just... He looks nice next to Dave Grohl. Dave Grohl? Our gnome, Dave Grohl. So, like, why move him? He's having the time of his life. Mm-hmm. He looks like a party plant. He does look like a party plant. <laughs> All right, so that... All right. That was the living room. That's the living room. Let's move on. So over to the kitchen, we have Calamity Jane. Uh, yeah. She's sad looking. Uh, we're, we're nursing her back. She's, you know, the namesake. So... <laughs> It's fine. Again, if you don't watch. Uh, here. It's mm -hmm. like, do you want to show off your yeah. succulents? Yeah, uh, I'll bring them up. Okay. Well, okay, so this is Calvin. Calvin's doing so much better than um, poor Mary Jane here. Mary Jane got a... Uh, a Mary Ann. That's what I meant. <laughs> Mary Ann here. What a bad plant, Mom. I am. Uh, I mean, you can tell because, I mean, she got... Uh, Mary Ann! Oh, my God. It's not that bad. Okay, it's pretty bad. It's gotten worse. What I don't happened? think she's going to survive. I don't know, man. It's gotten worse, though. Uh, what is it? Uh, fungal infection. Apparently, she got a fungus. Now, no, okay. I think she's a little crisp. Yeah. This part particularly was already there when I got it from Walmart. So I'm wondering, but uh, yeah, her fungal infection is getting bad again. I don't know if she's going to make I'm not the best plant parent, but I can at least keep the cactus alive. Not Marianne. Poor Marianne, the succulent. Um, but uh, this is all new growth, by the way, though. I oh, so she's that. still, she's so alive. she's doing all right. She just, um, she's iffy right now. Um, I'm hoping she use, loses her bad leaves soon because she was losing a few at the bottom. But, um, she's doing all right in that sense now. But anyways, that's, that's my two. I'll, uh, give her a little treatment when we're done with the tour. But yeah, that's my, I'm starting just with two. <laughs> Why not start with 20? <laughs> like you? Yeah. Uh, I don't know if I can handle that. I can barely handle uh, what I've got there. Obviously, for Marianne, I can't even get her name right or anything. <laughs> All right, to the bedroom. The bedroom. Please. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. All right. Welcome to the bedroom where more <laughs> plants are. So I built this shelf for more plants because i wanted all the plants so oh you got another uh i didn't know you had one in here too i got little... a i got a combo pack of two nice so because i Love was those like combo we'll packs. put one by one plant and the other plants i thought our humidity was higher but apparently it's not so starting up here with kitty foreman kitty got a new pot by the way if you didn't see nice. she looks much more stylish so this is kitty foreman she is a sturmanthi trio star and she is a prayer plant so when i first got her we're gonna put her in actually yeah it's a little bit of a flimsy nursery pot so when i first got her she Give a little bit uh, of up close there did pretty not leaves pretty leaves very pretty leaves i did not realize she was a prayer plant try and stay out of the glow sorry i didn't realize she was a prayer plant until uh pretty much too late uh, so what that means is during the day, her leaves droop down and then during the nighttime, like now, they're a little higher up. So most plants, like the rest of these, when their leaves are drooping down, it means they're thirsty. Not this bitch. <laughs> uh, I saw her leaves were drooping down and I was like, oh no, not fucking kitty. So I, uh, watered her a little too much and... We're currently not rescue missioning her, but she's fine. She doesn't need to be watered. Clearly, she's still drenched from Ben. So she's chilling, though. She seems to really be doing good. I mean, she's got this leaf finally opening up. This one looks like it's about to. 
Mm. And they all have coloration. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. Okay. So, Last she's doing saw... much better. Kitty. Which is good, because, um, versus her Calathea fucking husband out in the <laughs> living room. <laughs> You're so upset about it. I fucking read Foreman. Fucking hell. So, that's Kitty Foreman, but she gets the top. So, next, we'll do Stitch. So, Stitch Dick. is a mini Monstera. So wow. He... He's kind of really... I don't know. He looks like he's bigger from last time I saw him just a couple days ago. They're all growing. <laughs> just from a couple days ago. Yeah. yeah. So this is Stitch. So he's a mini Monstera. So for anyone who's wearing Monsteras, they kind of look like this, but they have a little more like slitty type leaves versus Stitch with the mini has more curved like you. Mm, okay. So he also with mini Monsteras, they're more of a vine. So eventually he'll just like vine up the wall, which is going to be very exciting. Um... But yeah, he's doing chill. This is a new leaf, and it's really fresh and, like, dark, which is cool. Um, again, haven't done much with him, and he just shows me love, so I love it. So that's Stitch. This guy I'm most impressed with. So this is King Louie. Now, we did a tour yesterday. On We did this exact tour yesterday, and Megan has, or Sage has, holy shit. It's okay. But um, Amazon did this fucking plant dirty. So this <laughs> leaf was supposed to be alive. And yeah. uh, it came dead. <laughs> and so yesterday during our tour, it was only this leaf just like dangling. Mm -hmm. This morning I wake up and it's got a whole new leaf on it. And I'm like, <laughs> what the fuck? Just a little love and care and that's all that you get some I didn't even do growth. anything to this plant. I literally, okay, so I have King Louie and just like, a basic pot just to let it drain and so I just have been letting him drain out pretty much because when I got him he was just saturated and I was like that's not good because clearly he's droopy mm -hmm. but um he yeah I've just been letting him dry out and he, all of a sudden a new leaf came up and I I know banana trees grow quick I did not realize it grew right. on a 24 hour basis right so that's kind of impressive also, since he's a banana tree, eventually we'll get bananas. Because he will actually. You, you know, yeah, he will. Mm, okay. So, but he has to have right conditions. I think he needs more humidity. Mm, but, mm -hmm. again, our rooms get, like, so much light that mm -hmm. they all are getting a good amount of light. So this is a philonendrum, I believe. Uh, so this is Barry. He, sorry, that was King Louie. I know I said Stitch. This is Barry. You said King Louie, yeah. Okay, so he's a philodendron. Again, I don't do much with him. I clearly watered him with tap water and he didn't like that. But the rest of his leaves are doing fine. He is, uh, pretty chill. I like how neon green he is. Mm-hmm. I think that's fun. And, uh, I haven't done anything with him either. And he's got some growth in the middle, so I'll take it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, he just kind of chills over here. But yeah, I figured out I need five more plants, and then I have the entirety of the country bears. Nice. So I'm very excited. Oh boy. Five. So far. <laughs> <laughs> like, great, five more. This is Lilo. Lilo. So we have Lilo and Stitch. Lilo is a actual Monstera, and she's actually standing up straight for once. Normally she's leaning. So this is kind of impressive. Uh, so she's a juvenile. So when she grows up, she'll have the, like, big, leafy leaves. Google what a monster looks like <laughs> if you want to know what it looks like. But she's gonna, she looks like she's unraveling a new leaf there. Oh, yeah. So I see that. hopefully oh, look at there. it'll look like a monstera. If not, I think she's got a little bit more growing to do until she starts producing the fun tropical leaves. Mm -hmm. But this was the one plant I wanted the most. So I was very mm -hmm. excited when I got her. So that's Lilo. And then this is the lovely dinosaur that Sage got me. <laughs> he protects my plants. Easter. <laughs> so this is Janelle. And this is Pamela Anderson. So these are the other two parlor palms that we have. Get a good I got Pamela. these two on Etsy at three in the morning when I like began my plant obsession. 
because I was just like, I want a palm tree. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And Etsy was like, here's two fifteen. And I was just like, fuck yeah. And I thought I added it to cart and said I hit purchase now. So I got a, you know, a little notification in the morning, like, thanks for your purchase. And I was like, fuck. So I had to go out, buy pots, buy soil. And they also came in really fucking quick. Did not expect that. Because Etsy, normally, they either take forever or no time at all. It was no time at all. So they were the second and third plants I got. Uh, this is also Titan's favorite plant. <laughs> Titan loves coming in here and chewing on Janelle. I'm sorry. I don't know why he like, but it's only this one. Like he leaves Pamela alone. He just he loves this plant. But it's I didn't know if they were growing. They have a root system. Cause one time Titan just <laughs> yanked one of them fuckers out. I thought we were over this. <laughs> I found it in my bathroom on the ground. Right. It's like a ransom note. It's just like the poor Fran was just chilling. There was a root system on the bathroom floor and I walked in and was like, there's a murder in my house. <laughs> Thanks, Titan. I appreciate it. All right. So this is Franny. So Franny is my first plant I've ever had. So she uh, is a bromelia. You even look better than yesterday, friend. I think I watered her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> That's why. I finally watered her after a while of not watering her. Um, so Franny is a bromeliad. So Fran is kind of like an orchid. So she doesn't really, she has like really shallow roots. Mm-hmm. So she can actually chill in this for like the rest of her life. And once this blooms, she's going to put out babies. Then we'll have more plants. And, um... She only blooms once in her life, but it's going to bloom for a year. And uh, she was my first plant. I found her at Walmart, and she was kind of dying on the Walmart table. And I was just like, I can't let this happen. (laughs) So I brought her home. I gave her a haircut because a lot of her leaves were gross because Walmart did her dirty. Mm. And she's doing much better. She's giving off so much new growth. Even the first day we brought her back, there was already growth on her. So... That's Franny. She chills in here because apparently... I think she... eventually Fran will have to be up one because it looks like she's getting too tall almost. She's getting taller for sure. I mm-hmm. thought about moving her, moving them around eventually. But I put her there because I guess she likes shade. Mm. So, I don't know. Alright, so going over here. This is Spongebob. This is our other Dracaena. So this who lives in a pineapple under the sea, Spongebob. So this is a pineapple, Dracaena. So, and the reason why is because it looks like the top of a pineapple. So we have these really deep, wet, like waxy leaves. That's me. Oh, I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, ignore uh, it. <laughs> okay. Um, so they have really dark waxy leaves and they look like the top of a pineapple. He, when he gets bigger, he's gonna have like these long luxurious, luxurious leaves mm-hmm. um i don't really water him either my fault to blame though because i put him in this pot with no drain full so he's kind of been sitting in water since i got him so he doesn't have signs of root rot but i definitely keep an eye on it because i'm like oh but i'm also letting this soil dry fully but i mean he seems to be chilling i keep him next to the humidifier and he just kind of he's vibing i think he likes it Mm. So that is my pineapple Dracaena. That just I wish you would have been able to find a pineapple, an actual pineapple. I did pot. look for one. I yeah, did. I know you. I know you. But tried. they only ga- the the only ones I could find were just like succulent, like this size. And right. I was like, my Dracaena is not that Mm-mm. size. So this is Lucky, sage named Lucky. Yeah. So he is a Chinese money plant, and or a UFO plant. So this is another. Influencer plant. I think he looks neat on my bookshelf. <laughs> um, I like him. He's got these little saucer things going, and when he gets bigger, it's gonna look like damn near a disco ball because it, wow. it could be everywhere. That's cool. He's pretty cool. He's a little maintenance plant. I don't know what's going on here, but I'm also like, this part is healthy, but this isn't, so I'm not sure if I should just or not. So until then, I'm just gonna let it chill. But so far, so good. He looks happy. So we're just going to let him chill up here. So last Lucky. Stay. 
He wouldn't sit on his little thing. Okay, now, for anyone who is a complete beginner in plants, or wants a plant who you don't have to, you can just like leave, you can put this thing in a fucking closet. I'm getting a glare all that from your, uh, you might just turn that off. Oh. I know you wanted good lighting, but it was, yeah, okay. Too good. much lighting? Mm -hmm. Okay, so, for anyone who wants a plant that you can just like throw in a closet, and it still be alive, <laughs> this fucking thing. This is a ZZ plant, which is nicknamed Z Easy Plant, because you don't have to do anything to this plant. I just, like, get mad at this plant because it doesn't need anything from me at all. I have this thing in the bathroom. My bathroom has no windows, and it has no, like, way to get to the sun because the counter goes in. He was fine. He was just like, this is fun. I like it in here. And I'm like, well, I... <laughs> I, I think I'm just going to put him in my closet. I just want to see. I want to get to a point where, like, he needs me. <laughs> is that a problem? Yeah. All right, cool. So, anyways, so this is Zelda. Um, He's cool. So, he has these little, like, thick stems at the bottom. And those are kind of, like, water bulbs. And he just, like, takes all of his water in there, kind of like a camel. And self-regulates. Like... He doesn't really need light. Well, he does need light. Every plant needs light. Let me reiterate. If you give him like an hour or two of sunlight, he's just like, okay. Or like fluorescent light, he's fine. So this is Zelda. Um, he, I call him a boy, even though I know Zelda is a lady in the games, but fuck it. So <laughs> that's Zelda. He's also the one who's moved the most around the apartment because he was in the living room here, my bathroom, back here again. I thought about putting him in the kitchen, just for a plant in there. He doesn't really fucking care. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, so our final plant. I'm so proud of Sunny. This is Sunny. This is my boy. He also has more growth than I noticed. <gasps> Yay! Sunny is killing Great job, it. Sunny. And I cannot believe this. So Sunny is just one of those like dollar Walmart um like kits that you can grow he's supposed to, he's a sunflower he's sunny the sunflower when i got him i was like this isn't gonna work like i'm so bad with seeds i have gone through many science projects with him with like say the seeds just like failing uh so he's actually doing really well i make sure to keep him watered and i keep him in direct sunlight i also make sure to shake him because apparently, um, when they're in sapling stage, since he's not, like, getting, like, wind, mm -hmm. his stem needs to be strong. So oh. I just, like, so I guess, you know, every other day I'm just like, you like that? Yeah. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> every morning, that's my morning routine. <laughs> and he must like it, because he's growing big and strong. <laughs> so what I do with my plants. So... Yeah, but I'm really impressed with Sunny, actually, because I definitely was just like, I'm going to take the L on this, because, but it's a dollar, why not? Clearly, he likes it here. So I'm really impressed with him. He's got, there's so much growth going on here. There's actually another one down there. Mm -hmm. I got like four sunflowers going, and it's amazing. But I did overwater him, so this is his little trip tray that I put him in. Mm. So, yeah. Yeah. For anyone who asked for this, no one really asked for this. I feel like a lot of people are happy and anticipating it, though. Okay, good, because I like talking about my plants. Any excuse to get me to talk about my plants, I'm true, down true. for. I mean, who asks for anything on the podcast? We just kind of do it, and we people go deliver. with it. They love it. It's great. They're like, this is a great thing, and we're like, thanks. Yeah, we don't try. <laughs> right. We do what we want to do. Basically. And be like, here you go. What are yep. these? I'll just show you guys my Animal Crossing Island one day. Fuck it. Cool, cool, cool. But oh, remember the gnome, the gnome idea too. I was gonna show gnome my gnome tour. collection. <laughs> gnome tours next. So anyone yeah, yeah, wants yeah. a gnome tour, like and subscribe. You, you saw a little taste of it, Dave you, Grohl. You saw Dave, Dave Grohl. Grohl. Dave Grohl. <laughs> I'm but, doing it too, by the way. She's not just doing this. <laughs> Dave Grohl. Rock. Thing. But um, yeah. Thanks for joining us on the plant tour. Caffeine corner every Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> You'd be a great influencer. I know. <laughs> okay, bye.